today I wanted to show you how you can use needle positioning on a Kenmore machine which uses cams. And what you will need is a nut like that. I've just put the screw in there to make it easier to remove, but I'm going to show you what, how this works. Okay, so in order to make this work, you have to do it in two parts. If you think of center, slightly left of center position to the left, that's one part, and slightly and the slightly left of center, which is a normal straight stitching position, to the right, that's part two. So there's nothing more complicated for the presser foot. You need the zigzag presser foot. Um, or if you're doing left only, if you can get a left needle position plate from a different type of machine, that would work. But ultimately, this will work fine. So to get your needle position, what you need to do is put the machine and set it to cam setting with no cam in. Okay. If you leave your width at zero, you will get your standard slightly left of center sewing position and we'll start there. And then what you do is to move the position to the left you just keep moving it over to the maximum width. When it's on the maximum width it is in the leftmost position. And I'll show you how that works. So I'll zoom in now. Off we go. <clears throat> so I'm in the leftmost position now. And I'm just going to sew at a normal stitch length and you'll see it's in the leftmost position. Then if I gradually move the zigzag width over to zero, it moves into the slightly left of center position. And then if I move the, zi the, the width over, you can see it, it all the way to the left. So I'll do it really quickly, like a multi-point zigzag. So you can only get that little bit of movement. In fact, if I reduce the stitch length, it'll really be much easier to see what's going on. Oh, this is like a multi-point zigzag doing this, essentially. But you only get that little bit on the left-hand side. You get every needle position in there. So if you look, um, pull this out. You can see that we've got. We're able to get that. Oops. Let's see if we can get that there. Yeah, perfect. You can see I can do sort of a mini multi-point zigzag because I can get all of those positions in there. So it's all perfectly 100% adjustable. So that's how you do the left-hand side. Okay. Now to do the right hand side is slightly more exciting and I will set this up now. So needles up and then I'm going to zoom back out. So here we go to do the from the slightly left of center all the way to the right. To, to get in that bit, this is where it gets a little more interesting. So what I recommend is easier to do this is if your stitch width is set to zero, you still leave it on cam, you move the cam release switch over, and then what you do is what you want, and you could use it, I've you tried this first with an elastic, um, but ultimately what you want is something that will stay in there and not fall out, because if it falls out you're going to get a, a bit of a nasty surprise. So I'm just put a washer in there and it'll stay. It's perfectly good. And if it's stitched with zero, it hasn't moved the needle at all. But what you'll notice now is as I move this, the needle goes from the left normal straight stitch position all the way over to the right. Okay, so I will show you that now. Okay, it's just in the normal position. As I increase the width, if I do it in big jumps, 
you can see I get everything from pure from the left to the very center to all the way to the right. So this is a lot more movement on this side of the needle. But I can get every position in there as well. So if I actually want to sew in perfect center on the stitching, that's all I do is just leave it to where it's just slightly more than one on the, the zigzag knob or on the stitch width knob. And that gives you exact center, perfect center. So you can go through all of that. So whichever position you want from the slightly left to center to the very center, you can do it no problem by moving the stitch width. And that's how you can get that. What you can see is, oops, sorry, wrong way. You can see here I'm just moving the stitch width slightly to get my multi-point zigzag equivalent. Okay. And if I pull that out, then I get back to my position from slightly left to center to all the way left. <clears throat> so there's one more thing which I want to show you, a little added bonus. So I'm going to move that all the way to the leftmost position. I've done that. I'm going to increase this stitch width to the maximum. And I'm going to put my modifier on short, or anywhere in there will do, and watch what happens. We get stretch stitch. So the stretch stitch still works for all of these positions. So any needle position can be done stretch stitch using this technique. I hope you find that interesting.